All right, we have uh, new pictures and certainly new video coming into our newsroom showing the meteor that streaked across the sky last night all across Metro Detroit. And joining us on the phone right now is Michael Lehman. He is a professor at the University of Michigan's Climate and Space Sciences program. So, Michael, thanks for joining us. First of all, break down what happened. What did we see? Oh, we saw a piece of space rock, probably only a few feet in diameter, come through our atmosphere. And as it goes through, it has to move the air around it, and it burns up and eventually even explodes. What are some of the uh, stresses that, uh, I mean, why does this thing explode in the sky? It's made it all the way through space, makes it here to uh, southeastern Michigan, then explodes. What's going on there? <laughs> it, it's moving thousands of miles per hour uh, when it reaches our atmosphere. And in order to, uh, it can't keep going that fast once it reaches our atmosphere. It has to push the air around it, and that's so much frictional force on it. It actually starts stripping away the rock. And that's the bright light we see, and eventually uh, the rock has what we'd say catastrophic failure and explodes. So what about the earthquake? Did, did that happen because of the sound of the, the meteor splitting, or did it happen because it hit the ground? I think I was cut off, but no, maybe not. We have you. We have you. Go okay. ahead. The earth uh, the earthquake, uh, the uh, sonic boom, because it's moving so fast, it's actually going faster than the speed of sound, and it creates a sonic boom uh, that reaches the ground, and it's that that caused the earthquake-like feel of the shaking houses and rattling windows. All right, thank you very much, Michael uh, Lamone of the University of Michigan. Uh, appreciate your time, and thank you so much for your insight.